Hey, this is Max Cougar, and this is the sixth tutorial in the Quakesy tutorial series. And today we're going to go over impulse commands. So let's get started. So open up your Quakesy program, and we're going to be working in weapons.qc today. Okay, now scroll, scroll down to about the about close to the bottom. This function right here impulse commands alright some of you may know what impulse commands are you know if you are in a game and you type in impulse and then a number and something happens like you spawn a weapon or you get a weapon or you do a cheat or something happens usually so this is adding a new impulse command and they're very helpful because you can tie them to buttons and keys so when you press a certain key it'll do this and you can do that for melee and reloading and whatever other cool functions you want. You could just do it to merely just screw around in the game. Alright, so first of all, look at this code right here. This is an example. This is saying if self.impulse equals 9, so if the player is pressing or, you know, using impulse 9, then you're going to do the cheat command, and that's going to give you all the weapons. Okay, so you can just kind of see for yourself all the different impulse commands. Now look at this one. Self.impulse equals 255. Then it's going to do the quad cheat. The quad cheat function is right here. So it's going to call this. The game code is going to go to this. And it's going to do everything in here. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we're going to add our own. And before I do that this little code right here is very important you need to set the impulse back to its default value that's the default number is zero if you're forgetting or you delete this code or leave it out you probably will get problems down the road you know you might get weird stacking problems or something both me and ghost fang have had problems and they both led down to that us missing this line of code all right so just remember that now here we go type if two parentheses and then in the parentheses type it self dot impulse equals equals 50 okay now when you're doing an impulse or when you're doing an if statement you need two equal signs that's showing true equality you can't use just one or else you're gonna get warning and it's not gonna work you only use one if you're just you know applying value but an if statements you use too now we're going to make it do something so we're gonna make it make us jump really high so we're gonna do self dot velocity Z now I spelled that wrong velocity self dot velocity Z equals 100 no 1000 that's going to send us up 1,000 quake units in the air. Alright, so let's try that. And also another thing, if you only have one thing that you're calling through an if statement, see this only has one thing, then you don't need to add these little curly braces. You don't need to add those. But if you're adding multiple things in a function, like if I wanted to give myself 1,000 health too, then you'd need these. I'm also going to make it print a message too. We're going to say center print two parentheses and then um, semicolon for breaking the line, stopping the line of code. We're going to do self, comma, two quotes. We're going to do we. I'm jumping. Now, when we type impulse 50, not only is it going to print this, but it's going to send us up in the air. 1,000 quake units. Save. Compile. Okay, minimize, and we're going to try this in game. Now take the progs.dat that you got and replace it. Yes. Okay, now start up the game. Now we're going to bind that impulse command, or that, that impulse, to a key. <clears throat> now in order to do that you need to open the console 
So if you want to open the console, on the left hand side of your keyboard, right under the escape key, there should be a little squiggly line. If you press that, you'll go to the console. If you can't find it, you can go to, you can press the escape button, go down to options, and go down to go to console. Okay, now we're going to type bind, quotation mark, U, quotation mark. We're going to bind the impulse to the U key, space, another quotation mark, impulse, space, 50, quotation mark. So we're going to bind the U key to the impulse 50. Now press enter. Okay, now I'm going to exit the console. Now I press the U key, it's going to print a message and send us up in the air. See? Pretty cool, huh? And that's if that's if you press the U key. You can tie it to any key you want. See? Now you could just screw around and go high jumping or whatever. Whatever you wanted to do. You can make that value even bigger if you wanted to. It's kind of cool. Alright. Now, we're going to add one more thing so so you can kind of get familiar. We're going to add an, another We're going to add another thing, and this one's actually just going to play a sound. Now, add another one. If two parentheses self.impulse equals equals 51. Now, we don't need the curly braces since we're only doing a sound effect. So, we're, I'm going to type sound two parentheses and a break a break point now who's the sound going to be applied to we're gonna apply it to self which is the player comma and what channel is it on we're gonna put it on channel weapon comma now what sound effect are we playing we're gonna play the one in weapons folder and we're gonna play let's let's go see what we have sound let's play the one in weapons folder let's do let's do the detonate one weapons deton eight dot wave okay another quote another comma now how loud is it it's just going to be default one comma and you know what's the attention of it a t t n norm it's the normal so when we type in impulse 51 it's gonna play that sound and I'm pretty sure that this sound is not pre cached so let's go ahead and pre cache it now go to the top of your code until you get to W pre cache <coughs> excuse me now go down to enters two lines now do pre cache sound two parentheses breakpoint now inside the two parentheses we're going to have two quote marks and weapons slash deton detonate dot wave there now we loaded the sound into quakes memory now it can be used save compile and replace the progs dot debt yes start up the game okay we're not going to bind it to a key this time we're actually just going to type it open up the console type impulse 51 see played the sound just like we told it to and now you could bind it to a key if you wanted to and if you want to do the jump one you just type in impulse 50 all right this ends this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. This is Mex Cougar signing out.